it's the Bradcast. It's Comic Experience Sci-Fi. I'm here with Denver Rashan and The Q, and we're here to talk about, you heard it, The Defenders. You know, I really think I should have a last name. Like, it should be like the QQ or something. Because Seriously, I, dude? I'm just, I'm just you saying. You change your name to a letter, and now you want a last name? You, I think that should. I think that's only fair. Everyone else has a last name. You have Brad and Cast. Ivey. It's one word. How about Q Cast? Uh, well, that's, that's still <laughs> his though. I'll figure it out. I'm sorry. Continue. Q's newsing stun. There you. Yeah, okay. There you go. The news stun. Why don't we just all become Cast? Yeah. Oh, we can all yeah, Cast. Q Cast. Cass, Richie Cast. Cass, Denver Cast. Right. We're all Cast. We're, We're the Cast Cass. family. We're the Cast Cast. <laughs> We're the Cast of the Cast. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sure. Let's do that. There you go. All right, cool. I think we got off topic in record time. <laughs> record time. Record time. I didn't do it. Well, you know, <laughs> I wanted to hear that famous saying, but Denver didn't say it for me. You know, I, just one time. I haven't heard it in so long. Stay on target. Stay <laughs> on target. Okay, I'm sorry. Literally took the words right out of my mouth. Okay, so Brad. Yes, sir. You guys, you and the Q cast watched <laughs> the first couple of episodes of yes, the Defenders, we did. correct? What did yes, you think? We did. Um, I think that everything that the individual shows were lacking, Luke Cage aside, because I'm I don't really have anything bad to say about Luke Cage. I really enjoyed that series. I had a hard time getting past the pilot on the red one, Damn. and I couldn't get past the fifth episode of the purple one. Jessica and Jones. that that fist kid just needs a spanking or something. I he needs a fisting. It. Is that what he's exactly? Well, I didn't want to go there, but that'll man him up. But <laughs> <laughs> maybe it would. Maybe it would. But <laughs> the defenders, the defenders was had a beginning, middle, and end. Every time the show ended, we weren't watching the time. We weren't going, when will something happen? And every time it got to the end, we're like, what? Wait a minute. Oh, God, we have to watch the next one. So thumbs up, I take oh, it. Oh, yeah, a couple of thumbs up. We were. My wife liked it. I liked it. Mr. QCast liked it. Um, I'm actually looking forward to watching the next five episodes and reporting again on another podcast. I think... Uh, well, what Q, you... let's talk about what, what was your take on the individual shows before we jump into Defenders. Yeah, okay. Um, Daredevil, okay. I, I think I watched the pilot, and I just couldn't get past the second episode. So um, you haven't seen any, any well, season two. Se- season two, I watched all of The Punisher. Like, I made it through. Well I done, made it through. Sir. But I watched all of the Punisher part, and then like after that, I was just kind of like, because I felt like I forced myself to watch the Punisher part, I felt like I couldn't well, go. Well, he was past. throughout pretty much the whole. Second. Yeah, but I'm talking about like when he got caught the first time. I kind of was like, okay, I can't like I can't do this anymore. Like to me, Daredevil is just not good. But it was a great comic book. No, no, right. But as to me, it's just not. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's 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 the guy that's playing Matt Murdock. I don't know what it is. It's just well, I think I it's that, not, that guilty Catholic mumbo yeah. jumbo. They I don't remember that in the books at all. Yeah, so I think that's what it is. Jessica Jones. Oh my God, I love Jessica Jones. I thought Jessica Jones was the best one until Luke Cage came out. Uh, uh, yeah, I definitely agree. With I got you on sick that. of the sex scenes. I just wanted her to <sighs> kick somebody's ass instead of taking it. Yeah, there wasn't that many, and besides, she's a she's, lovely. Young she lady. is. She's oh no, she drunk. is. She's she a is. lovely drunk. Um, but there was a lot of, um, shall we say, stupin in the first five episodes, and I just got sick and tired of it. I wanted to see some of that detective action. She's a good detective. Well, they had a little bit of that in the Defenders. Yes, Defenders. yes they did. And that uh, was the part I liked. That was the part they had. Luke Cage, of course, nothing bad. Can't say anything bad about Luke Cage. And he does uh, a open in this one, too. I can't say anything bad about Luke Cage. The only... Here's my only beef. I agree with you on Jessica Jones. Awesome show. Okay. Much I enjoy that much better than Daredevil. Okay. Uh, except, I will say, um, Fisk is was the best Marvel villain to date. Before... Oh. before the other Netflix shows. Okay. Because that's always been the downfall of the Marvel movies is kind of a mediocre villain. villain. Okay. Um, so I thought Kingpin was the best Marvel villain, okay. although I will say Kilgrave 
took it up a notch. I was like, yeah, Kilgrave he was, was not... even better than Fisk, I Yeah, thought. I thought Kilgrave was very good. I, and you and know. that's... And, and that comes to my only complaint about Luke, Luke Cage, Cage, was that I loved... Um, not Diamondback, but who was the first... Uh, oh, uh... Right, his, bro- his stepbrother. Or his half-brother. Well, that was Diamondback. That's Diamondback. You're talking about, uh, what's his name's brother? Uh, Alfred Woodard's brother. Cousin. His cousin, who got killed. Yeah. He was great, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and so when he, spoiler alert, when he... If you ain't a, seen it by now. Yeah, when he gets offed, I was kind of like, my interest level took a noticeable took a dip. dip. Yeah, okay. Just because I thought he was... Up there with Kilgrave and Fisk as well, far as good villains. I yeah. I didn't okay. mind him getting killed only because Oh, he was asking for it. Yeah. But I didn't mind him getting killed I mean, because it was a I good felt twist. like twist. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Because I felt like I didn't Alfred see it coming. Wood, I liked Alfred Woodard and I liked uh Shade. So I felt like They made a good team. Yeah. But I just thought the whole, you know, Stepbrother thing or half brother, well, that whatever one, that he was. One was kinda, I thought that was yeah. a little far fetched. I was like, oh boy. I can see your point on that one. I didn't, but that's not to take away anything from Luke Cage, Cage and that show, whole right. storyline. And yeah, I would put I would put Luke Cage like r- right at the Jessica Jones level, or maybe okay. just a little bit underneath it. Okay. And then Daredevil, and then way down at the bottom, of <laughs> Iron Fist. Iron Fist is like yeah. under. Down by your shoes. Go. Now, yeah. did you guys actually? I know uh, you watched the first few episodes together as a group. Okay, so you did I finish it. it. Okay, I've... Brad, did you finish it? The no, reason... Iron Fist. I, I'm not even sure I'm going to even bother. The reason I bring it up is uh, since Brad and I, or Q and I both seen all the episodes. You can't. I will you can't say, ruin that for me. I will say about episode five, it really kicks into gear and it gets pretty yeah, damn good. It doesn't. Right. Make it doesn't. It, that it, does, much of it doesn't get now. great. I Why are say... all the fight scenes in the fucking dark? Pardon my French. I know it's German. I think that's early on because it, in the back half. They're, they go to China and they're. I is believe, they're fighting in the light. I oh mean, yeah. if, if you can't, fu- yeah, if no, I can't see no, the no, moves, what's get, the it point? Gets, it gets. They go better. to one of the hands compounds and there's this big. Right, Claire goes and she fights. Yep. And all, yeah. I, mean, I mean, Colleen I mean, Wing, that character is 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 a well done, well written character. She is likable. In in all of her weirdness, and there's all kinds of added complexities with Colleen, and that's right. one of the stronger characters in right, the show. So, well, if it wasn't for Colleen and Claire, that show would really yeah, fucking they, suck. They, no, they made it, and yeah. uh, Madame Gao. Yeah, Madame Gao. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, that little old lady with the she, cane. She kind of yeah. came front and center. Oh, all right. And then they yeah. added in some extra layers, so of, I can fast forward up to the good parts and yeah, then watch. jump to like episode. Four or five, I would say, and then well, it yeah. gets it's picks right. up quite a bit. I mean, now, it I goes from I'm like not... it goes from like negative five to like two. Let's just call That's it still what it seven is. points. I'd say yeah. I'd say it's on a scale of one to ten. I'd say it's about a if you jump to episode five, it gets to about six, seven. Okay, you know, I would put Daredevil at like eight ish. <laughs> See, Daredevil to I me would... was like six or seven. No, see, I thought Daredevil was really strong. I have to go back and my, try to watch it my again. My complaint right. with Daredevil is the side stories. The Daredevil story, I thought maybe that's why good. I can't get but into it. But the foggy it. and the Karen stories, yeah. they could they could lose those characters entirely. And maybe that's why them. I couldn't get into it because I mean, as much as the the first couple of episodes were more about the foggy and the, and the chick, and I'm just like. Well, it becomes a legal drama. And yeah. Like, I, I don't really care about that. I want the action. Right, if they right. had given them more of an action-oriented storyline. I mean, how, line, how much in Spider-Man, and I, I'm not changing the subject. I'm, I'm trying to stay on, on target. target. Spider-Man was a newspaper photographer. Okay? You got about three and a half seconds of that in the book, and all the rest of it was Spider-Man action. Superman, he was a... Big shot, big name reporter. Even in the movies, 35 seconds of Clark Kent and all the rest was Superman. What the fuck, Marvel? Why is this a story about a a lawyer 
character development. Oh, fuck that in its fat ass. Wow. Well, what, how you really what's feel. to segue <laughs> it back into the Defenders? Yes, please. What's yeah. great about the Defenders is that we see Karen no longer working in the legal field. She is now a reporter. Right. right. I like, I like that. I like, I like that. how they brought her back around and because wasn't she in in Daredevil, wasn't she like their first receptionist? She had no idea what was going yes, on. Yes, and she was kind of right. their lead investigator, if you right. will. Right, and and she had no clue in the very beginning, and but she, she was, was a so nice, right? And then, what, what? <laughs> she was a vampire. That was the Daredevil prequel. So oh, was the, oh, that was the Daredevil prequel, True Blood. I'm sorry. Well done, sir. <laughs> Thank you. I Way to that. go true, off topic True again. Devil. True Devil. There we true go. Devil, yeah. I'm sorry. I love that show. That's okay. But to me, the, the best thing about the first hour, the first episode of The Defenders, <laughs> right. was yes. seeing all the characters that we know and love kind of catching up with them. Where are yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, where are they now? What Luke are they Cage doing? is getting out of I, prison. I, right. Yeah. I yeah. like how they actually um how they did the old school working on the same case but separately without knowing it. Right. And then right. coming together at one point and it's like, yeah, that was well, that, that was, was cool. Early on that was my only frustration is that by episode two, I was like, okay, Let's get these characters together. Let's get, yeah, I was kind of saying that too. Let's get them together. Yeah. Let's get them in here. The first episode, so. okay, you had me. I was willing to go with it. By episode two, I was like, okay, let's go, let's go. Yeah, it's time to fight. Like time to get it together. Yeah, get some action. And then, um, but I think they still did it right. Two meeting each other, and then the other two meeting each and other. And yet, Iron Fist, you think he's going to do something right, and he comes right up. Goes up to the villain who's actually looking for his alter fucking ego and says, Hi, I'm I am the guy you're I looking am. for. Please yep. kill me. Exactly. What I liked about the Defenders is it was like the best salvage job of Danny Rand because all the other characters see that Danny Rand is a is bitch. This baby, this right. self. Uh, this self righteous, spoiled, right. entitled brat. Well, it's because right, because not and and not because he's the Rand title holder. It's because he's so full of himself as the immortal Iron Fist. Correct. It's like, dude, the other immortal Iron Fist who's dead now. He was the immortal Iron Fist too. Guess what? Not immortal. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, not quite the most he doesn't accurate get it. of names. He doesn't right. even understand. After 15 years of teaching, he learns how to... He fought a dragon in one. Very exciting, I admit. But he's still a douchebag. Well, how he, is that a possible? Yeah, he doesn't know that it's the Iron Fist that's immortal, not the Danny Rand. That's right, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I think he learns that in this. By the end of the series, Okay. he, he learns that and he's Spoiler kind alert. of... Uh, picks up the mantle of Daredevil, where it becomes less about the hand and all this other stuff, and it becomes more about protecting the city, right? Calling okay. New York his home. Ah. So if you once, you, so he gets his head out of his ass. Yes, once you get through all eight episodes, okay. I think at the end of it, Danny Rand comes out as a much better character. So for Iron Fist season two. I think it will wow. hopefully negate a lot of the issues. Well, that so then that's many actually. Had with have it. you done the yeah. research? Are they all coming back for season two on their own, or is Defenders a one-off, well, or what's going to happen? I haven't from done the research. What I've yet. heard, there is going to be a Defenders two, but okay. first, uh, at the sometime before the end of the year, we're going to get the Punisher um, Punisher series. Oh, um, a whole series! A whole series. Woo. And Jessica then, Jones, too, Jessica, hasn't even started shooting yet. Right, but I believe Luke Cage has started shooting. I okay. think he, Mike Coulter actually announced that. Yeah, so yeah. season two of Luke Cage. Then I believe it's going to be season two of Jessica Jones. Okay. Then season two of Iron Fist. Then season three of Daredevil. Then Defenders 2. So we've got a okay. long way to go oh, okay. before we see Defenders so 2. So I didn't... S- well, I guess maybe I was going to ask a question. What happened to Vince D'Onofrio? What happened to Fit? Uh, Fist? Well, he's in season two of Daredevil. Okay, so he does come back. Yeah, but he's in he's, jail, right? Yeah, he's pulling strings. Right, that, behind that's the actually where he does his best prison. work. In he's some in of prison, the books, yeah. he's in prison. Yeah. So I mean, I, 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 from what I've seen so far, I'm thoroughly enjoying the Defenders. I think it's going to be Marvel's best show. So I mean. But that's just saying that 
a lot since I haven't seen two of them. One of the main one, the one that started it all. So. The beauty with the defenders that after have seen all the episodes is that there's only eight, where all the other shows have been, I believe, twelve and yeah, thirteen. 12 and yeah, 13. Um, and so this feels more like a a long movie, a right? Very like, a, like a mini series story. Yeah. Okay. Whereas the other series, there was a lot of padding. You had to have all these. That's subplots. actually how the books were done. The books. I have a couple of the um, the old Defenders books with um, Doctor Strange, the Hulk, and the Valkyrie, and they were all the giant size, all of them, because there was like three stories interwoven in the one book. Mm. So it, I think they're sticking with that, and that always made you want more. Um, and that, you know, if this series boosts... The writing and the story for the other four for the f- four separate series, then that can only benefit us in the long run. No, that's true. You know what I mean? If if but this show makes Iron Fist a better show, I'm all about the kung fu. Okay, but I don't, I think the only show that that needed help from this show was Iron Fist. I think the Punisher was. I always thought the Punisher was going to be great. I. Daredevil probably needs help too. Or maybe I'm just not seeing whatever everybody else is seeing about Daredevil. Don't feel bad. I didn't but see it either. Luke Cage didn't. Need, if Defenders would have never happened, Luke Cage would have still been a great show. You know what I'm saying? Yep. If Defenders would have never well, happened, Jessica Jones still would have been a great have show. A, he does have a few, a few flaws that are a little annoying. But they're but not going to stop you from watching the no, show. No, it's not going to stop me from watching the show. He right. ain't a whiny bitch. Well, I will say so. this about Defenders. Another great thing about it is that all of the characters are greatly changed at the end of the show. Oh, and they, so that yeah. will impact they them mature? going forward. Uh, not necessarily mature, um, but I would say maybe evolve is a better word. Okay, evolve. So, yeah, okay. so now do you think this leaves it open for um, how the CW does the crossovers instead of having just the Defenders you have – Daredevil with an episode where he has to team up with Luke Cage and then another episode where he sees up with Well, Jessica there's a Jones. lot of scenes you know. between Luke Cage and Danny Rand where they're... So you're you know, expecting a Heroes for Hire. Well, at least some crossover. Okay. I think at least like two episodes where... Yeah, because there's times they where... They see each other. Yeah, where Danny's like, hey, you know, we're pretty good together. And Luke Cage's like, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Well, and that but was... They're, they're, but they're when laying they, When the, the girls groundwork. introduced them, right? Yeah. When Claire... Uh, pulls pulls Luke over and says, like, "There's this guy you need to meet," and Luke's like, "Why do I need to know this little bitch?" Pretty much. Well, I, I like it how he says, um, "Yeah, I got clocked. I felt like him with a sledgehammer." And she was like, "What?" Yeah, his fist it glowed or something. She's just like, yeah. <laughs> I, I know who that is. Yeah, I know who that is. Yeah, you know. Did for you say a- whiny bitch? Yeah, yeah, that's him. <laughs> but without giving too many spoilery details, let's just say Luke Cage and Jessica Jones reconnect, mm. and so but not in that way. Oh, but they re- reestablish. I was say so. What happened with Claire? They reestablish their friendship. Okay, that's and good. it kind of ends with them agreeing to you know not be strangers and to okay. stay in touch. Okay. Um, and then, well, in the, the comic book, they get married and have a kid. Okay, so then so. they don't quite take it that far in this. But, okay, um, well, it's coming. Hopefully, we literally. know how Marvel literally. likes. It. <laughs> yeah, literally. Um, and then he totally went there. He did. Uh, the <laughs> biggest change happens for Daredevil, mm. and that was probably my only complaint about the ending. Okay, was again. I really want to spoil things here, but um, spoil it in the in the part two when we do the part two. Make yes, sure we'll do the follow. Yeah. But yes. uh, there's a, a big turn of events for Daredevil. Kerfuffle. And I was at first very excited by those turn of events, and then the very last scene, kind of they did a, a 180, and I was like, oh, okay, never mind. So anyway, so do they explain? And I and, and and not by any way. Hopefully, this is not. I'm. I, I hope I'm not initiating a spoiler. But why do they call Electra the Black Sky? Oh yes, the, the whole season, uh, the whole Dare uh, Defender season, is about 
Electra as the black sky. She is the central. Oh, right. Yeah. Focus I, uh, right. I got show. that. So, yeah. okay. She's actually the one character that they all interact with before they come together to fight as a group. Yes. And then she kicks all their butts and then they run like. Correct. They turn tail and run, and that's where we had to stop. And let's right. just say all, all fingers of the hand come together with. Electra slash the Black Sky. Okay, and it, they put up quite a quite a fight for our heroes. So, all right, well that's well, cool. don't spoil anything. But <sighs> and then, does it look like there's going to be an electric series? Uh, that I would say no. Okay, but I wouldn't be surprised if they okay. because yeah, because of what happens with Daredevil. Okay, it does kind of leave the door open for that. Okay. Um. And then the other character uh, that has some interesting developments is uh, good old Misty from Luke Cage. Yep. Misty Knight. Play, uh, nis- play uh, Misty for me. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you Are you familiar with her comic book character? I was not. Not really. No, it, not me. Okay, well, this is a bit of a... Uh, I don't. I want to say. Okay, it, but no, I don't, no, no, no. don't say it. Let's but just don't say. It. Let's just say her character in Luke Cage uh, makes her first transition to what her character in the comic book is supposed to be. Yeah. Cool. I'll take so, that. So yeah. So it's. I'll hmm. take that. So I think that's the big takeaway from this is that all the characters are impacted and changed a lot like uh you know if you think about like the Avengers movie, right? Robert Downey Jr. His Tony Stark. Was had you know like PTSD from right from almost right. dying and shit yeah, yeah. Um, and so it's not just you know a lot of the crossover books that I read as a kid they'd come together fight a villain and then they'd all go their separate ways right, right. and it was but that's what you want to see in the there's book there's no impact you know right. it didn't really affect okay. their character or right. their storylines in sure. their books um, so I kind of always felt like well yeah it's a great action packed story but they were always l- felt light. You know, right? Because there's no, re- no relationships. Yeah, right. yeah. Whereas this is the opposite. Good action, but it's. I think it has more to do with character development, storyline oh, development. That's so, new. So yeah, it's. Uh, that's why I liked it as much as okay. I did. And I literally, I think I binged all seven episodes in like, or all eight episodes in like two days. So okay. Once all it right. gets going. Well, it's already going. Well, we just had to stop. Yeah, because you guys have not gotten up to the point where they're all in the Chinese restaurant together. No. That was, I think that was the next that's, episode, episode five or four. From that point on, it's like a freight train. It just doesn't stop. It's not cool. So I have a feeling you guys are going to be binging four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Um, well, we'll uh, we'll make arrangements and make sure that uh, we can get our, our part defenders uh, podcast part two. Out as quickly as possible. Yes, um, do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Sounds like a plan. Anything else, gentlemen? Before we um, the day? Well, as of right now, ten out of ten. That's all I can say. Which is actually quite refreshing. I was kind of losing my my whole Marvelishness. Um, I although I will say I I was able to catch a few odd episodes of uh, Coulson. Oh, the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And that Phil Coulson, the, whoever's writing his character should be writing all the characters because he really, he's got a, a really, his character has good integrity, not just the way he behaves, but the way it's written. And maybe it's the actor. I was going to write that off and caught just a few odd episodes I'd not seen before. And it's like, God, i got to start watching this show again. Well, let me ask you, this is not Marvel proper. It's Fox, what I would call Fox Marvel. But did you guys watch Legion on FX? I tried. I watched the first episode. Was it good? It was was like a movie. It was cinematic in quality. Yeah. I watched the first episode. The first episode was good. Mind-bending. I just couldn't I'll I'll go con my father-in-law to let me watch cable over at his house and I'll check it out. Yeah, those are really good and it's um Charles Xavier's illegitimate son is the main Oh, character. who's the mom? I don't think they uh I don't think they go into that. Huh, Not that's in funny. Season 1 anyway. Mystic. Okay, no. That's actually what I was thinking. That's what I was but thinking. he'd be blue. 
if he, if she was the if she was the well, mother, cool. she'd be blue. He'd he be, will blue. be blue. Well, since we're on the Marvel uh, topic. Coming up soon, we've also got the Inhumans. Oh yeah, that's gonna be gonna good. Gonna that's gonna be good watching. Debut in IMAX. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I saw ads. They they were advertising it in the theaters. Yep. With uh, Dark Tower. So the pilot's gonna air in IMAX about a month or so before the the show. Right. Starts. We'll have to see it on the big screen. I think it'll make a huge difference. And in then Fox it. has the Gifted. Is that the? That's yep. The yes. Gifted. And that looks good too. And that's, yeah, that's the more the mutants. And Brian Singer is directing the pilot and producing. So, oh. And then lastly, we have uh, Runaways, which is going to be on Hulu starting in November. Which now, is, now, who are the Runaways? I think they're like a bunch of teen superheroes. Oh, all right, cool. So. And for the Q cast, and for the Denver cast, and this has been the Bradcast. And this is Comic Experience Sci Fi, The Defenders Podcast Part One. We'll see you next time. Woohoo! There you go.